Betty? Are you here? Hello? This is Edward Harden. Uh, I'm looking for my sister, Stop Elizabeth. Stop shouting, Edward. We're alone. There are only ghosts here. There are no ghosts. I don't know about that. What's this rope for? The bell. Lissy, look. Betty's gloves. They are definitely Betty's. Oh, she got these sake. in Boston before she left for New York. She bought them at Woolworth. I remember the day she... She's here. Where? And why would she leave her clothes lying around? It doesn't make Bread sense. Gloves. She's sending me a message. She knew I'd recognize her gloves. Her hat. She's left a trail for me to follow, like Ariadne's red thread. We're not in the lab. Betty would have left more crumbs. Betty, 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 you're turning into such a pill. What happened here? A sign on the door. God is not here. Their faith was challenged, and it didn't survive. church book. A record of births and deaths. So we can find out what happened to the people in the village? And, uh, Elizabeth. I mean, if she was dead... Her name would be in the book. Vandals. They tore it to pieces. I don't think the missing pages left the church. Look. We need to find all the pages. How many pages are missing? I counted four. They're probably all still here. I know. Let's make it a competition. One nil to team me. Isn't this a fire hazard? They're not always lit. Each candle represents a single prayer. That's a lot of prayers. There were a lot of deaths. The final dinner. The Last Supper. Who taught you about the New Testament? I pick up on things. Most folks aren't heathens, like you. The missing pages must be here somewhere. They considered this a sacred place. For them to destroy it. This was an act of desperation. And anger. I wanted you to find that one. I know what a rotten loser you are. What are you doing? We're in a church. I thought you didn't believe in God. I do believe in civility. Found another one. You get it. It's right here. I've never seen you read the Bible before. I've read the Bible many times. It's an important historical document. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Did you just translate that into Olden English? I happen to know the verse by heart. Hmm. You still manage to surprise me sometimes.
Jesus looks sad. What reason would Jesus have to be happy? Don't be blasphemous. Given that this is all fiction, blasphemy is a contradiction. Heretic. What's that? The last sermon that was held here. What does it say? Uh, the vicar's handwriting is hard to decipher, and the language. Uh, hmm. He talks about the village being divided for 20 years. This sermon was held on the anniversary of the accident this past summer. He's asking the congregation to help heal old wounds, to forgive, and move on. Something to the effect of, you sit in separate aisles in God's house. Like Ruth's drawing. I told you, she was perceptive. Tilly Verandra. Edward? Forgive each other. It addresses Johann and Frederick directly. But I wonder if they were even here. Remember the wedding picture? They were close friends once. How could they allow their grudge to escalate until... <sighs> you call each other traitors, but the only thing you've betrayed are the bonds that unite us. Here's something else. Many of you believe Grovik was cursed 20 years ago. God has not cursed you. This curse is of your own making. Ruth's drawing mentioned a curse. What do you think that means? It means they believed they were cursed, and that they needed something or someone to blame for their misfortune. It sounds like Grovik was split in two, between those who stood by Johann and those who supported Frederick. Because of Ruth? The sermon is from before that. No, this is all about the preceding 20 years of division and disagreements. You found another one? Don't forget about this page! Two for two. A tie. Good job, Teddy, Stop, old bean. Lucy. This is not a game. Betty's out there. Of oh, horse feathers! Stop being so gosh darn tedious, Edward. Betty, 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 will you ever shut up about your precious Betty? Put those pages back in the book, and I'll stop trying to cheer you up. This book goes back years. It lists births and deaths. Here's the third Fretland brother. The one who died in the cave-in. Someone added the word for Banelson, probably quite recently. What does that mean again? Curse. That word is all over this book. Not just the men who died in the mine, but... other deaths in the last 20 years. Ruth's drawing and the sermon both mentioned a curse. What do you think it means? I don't know. There were surprisingly few births. Perhaps they blame that on the curse as well. Look here. Ruth Elsa Fretland. She was buried in the cemetery. And the next entry, Simon Fretland. Now this is interesting. Simon is dead? Oh, that's dreadful. He drowned the day after Ruth died. Probably no coincidence. See what's scribbled next to it? Mord? Murder. Who killed him? Ruth's father? Or the mob that trashed the store? It doesn't say. After the children, a half dozen deaths in a single week. The curse. It's listed as the cause for every single death. Maybe there really was a curse. 
primitive superstition. But something changed after Ruth and Simon. It might explain why there's no one around. Edward, if it killed everyone, how's that not a curse? What does that word say? Next to those names at the bottom. For... For a... Dark... Traitor. Edward? What's wrong? The final entry. There's... There's no name. Alice... What if... Oh, Edward, no. Betty... It doesn't mean she's... She's not dead. She can't be. I'd know. I'd know! Teddy... I need to see the grave for myself. It's not Betty. But Betty's still alive. Teddy? Where are you going? Don't leave me! Edward! You better not be here, Betty. Where is it? I don't see it. Not Elizabeth. I, I was so afraid. You're a monster. But I had to be sure. If Betty. To hell with your Betty! When did she ever shed a tear for you? Don't talk about my baby sister. Or like what? That. Or what, Edward? What will you do? Ignore us? Banish us? You've spent your entire life chasing her. When are you going to do something useful with what's left of it? Uh, quiet! Just... leave me be! Fine. Lucy? Alice? Come back! Don't leave me alone! Please! Come back! I... I need you. Hmm. Das ist ja merkwürdig, oder? Es ist nur... Sie ist nur... Na, hm. Will ich es Wahnvorstellung nennen? Hm. Ein Hirngespinst? Aber... Ist es seine Tochter gewesen, die vielleicht auch umgekommen ist? Puh. Hm. Lissy? Where are you? Hm. I was afraid you'd left me. Now listen to me. No! Lissy!
Hey. Lissy, please listen to me. I didn't mean what I said. I, I... Of course you meant it. Everything's always about Betty. Betty, Betty. I care about you both. Until it really matters. Then it's obvious who matters more. I thought she was dead. I wish she was! Don't. You deserve to be alone. Please, talk to me. What's there to talk about? You can't keep running away from me. You think you own me? That you control me? That you get to decide how I feel and what I do every minute of every day? That I'm your puppet, your little plaything? Well, fuck you, Edward Charles Harden! I never should have come here with you on this pointless chase! Now, be reasonable. Lissy? Alice? No! Oh, no. What are you doing? What I should have done years ago. Maybe now you'll learn to appreciate us. Now listen to me. Please, listen. Hear me out. Don't do this. You can't do this to me. I need you. I'm not whole without you. I, I can't lose you. I, I can't live without you. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't, no, 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 no! What? No! Oh, Alice. What have you done? Please, be all right. Please, don't. You make me sick, Edward. Your mother and father would be ashamed. Elizabeth would be ashamed. They did not think you deserved their love, so they abandoned you. Don't. Oh, my child. We are all that you have. And we love you. We are here. With us, you are never alone. Do not forget. No, I... Never. Never. I never forget. I am never alone. Tag 4 Wake up, Edward. Stop hiding. Uh. Without us, you are nothing. You cannot hide from us. Where's Lissy? Alice is not here. Bring her back. Please. I need her. Alice does not love Elizabeth like you do. She loves me. Not like I do, Edward. I'm so tired. Please. What do you want? I think of you so often. You have no idea. You just want me to forgive you so that we can keep looking for your precious, perfect Betty. She needs us. <laughs> she never needed you, Teddy Bear. And she certainly doesn't need us. I can't find her on my own. Well, it's just too bad, my darling Edward. Because we're done playing second fiddle to little sis. Wait, don't go. I, I, I'm talking to... To you. Lissy. Oh.
please. Listen. Lissy, you can't keep vanishing on me. Try me. Why are you so angry? You do not know anger, Edward. Did you ever meet my father? Alice does not want to speak with you. And what about you? Are you going to help me? God helps those who help themselves. I don't need God's help. I need Lissy. Do you, though? Did you ever? What? Of course, I... Alice, don't go. Hear me out. I depend on you both. You can never depend on other people, Edward. I'm not sure you count as other people. Everyone leads one way or another. You don't. You can't. Is that a challenge? Stop playing games. Are you ordering me, teddy bear? I'm asking you. Didn't your father always tell you to stand up for yourself? To be a real man and not a sissy? Maybe that's why he put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Kaboom! He was so disappointed about what his only son had turned into. You're a monster. It takes one to know one, old fruit. I gave you this jacket. Betty! You were here. Was ist da los? Was ist da genau vorgefallen? Hm. Schwierig zu sagen. Ne? Alice, be reasonable. Lissy, I'm tired of chasing you. I'm trying to talk to you. Lissy, look. Her jacket. I'm sure it wasn't here yesterday, Jesus which means Christ, Betty was Teddy. here. Perhaps when we were out yesterday. Betty, so Be have... Betty, 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 Betty. You love Betty more than you love us. But don't you see? What has Betty done that we haven't? What can she do that we cannot? We've always been there for you. Why do you keep looking for her? She's real. You're not. So? What? You decide what is real. We are real to you. We'll never be the same. Also. Was kann jetzt seine Tochter? Sondern wer ist es dann? Und hat er dann auch gar keine Frau? Hm. Sieht beinahe so aus, ne? Und mit wem lebt er dann in Hanover, Massachusetts? Hm. 
She does not want you. Who are you talking about? Why do you think Betty left? She was sick and tired of us. She wanted to escape. Like mother. Drowning herself because she couldn't stand being around us. Like father. Bang! Right in the coconut. Stop. You drive them all away, Edward. All into death. But not us. We're always here for you. I beg you. You are never alone. Stop! Leave me alone, both of you! You want to be alone? You really want to be alone? Fine. You're alone.